In this video, we will control servos in non-inverted mode. Inverted mode was where we started at zero volts and then we would provide a signal of five volts at the end of the, the period. So starting at the period, would be starting at zero volts and then the pulse would come up to five at the ending of the period. And then it'll go back down at the start of the start of the next period. In non-inverted mode, you have the pulse starting high, and then it will go down to a zero volts from the start to the finish. So the start would start at five volts, and then it will end at zero volts. We learned that creating a period is as simple as doing the counting up to our top point, which is a number of 19,999, and this is at zero. And in fast PWM mode, we will go back down to zero and then start up again. This defines the period. And we would set the, we would set the OCR to somewhere around here between zero and 2,000. So we would start and go to about 2,000 and then drop down to zero volts and then get to the end of the period. And then we would come back up and it would reach the OCR value again at around 2000 or whatever we set it between, um, I think it was 900 to about 2100. And it'll come back down and go along. Um, initially, when we were doing the last video, we would have it starting at zero and then it would go up at the end of the period and then it will come over and then go back down and do the same thing over here. This is the inverted mode. And this is the non-inverted mode when we're using it from the beginning. The two bits that we would have to set are the COM1A1 and COM1A0. And this is, if we wanted to set both of these, this would be inverted mode. But since we want non-inverted mode, we want to do it this way, starting from the top and then going down. We would only set the COM1A1 bit. So let's make these changes in the program and also setting the new OCR value and see if we can make the server operate. Okay, here is the program when controlling the servo in inverted mode. We had the COM1A1 and the COM1A0 set. We set the waveform generation mode 11, 12, and 13 to establish fast PWM. And we're using the, we're setting CS10, which represents no prescaling and the ICR1 set to 19,999 is setting our period. This is what the clock is going to count up to to get 20 milliseconds. When we were using the inverted mode, which is the 1A1, 1A0 outputting to the OCR, we had to subtract the either the 800 or the 2200 from ICR1 because we were putting the pulse at the end of the period, not at the beginning. Let's go ahead and make the changes to establish the in non-inverted mode. The first thing to do is only set the COM1A1. The COM1A0 should not be set. So I'm just going to put a semicolon at the end and remark out the, the setting of the COM1A0. And for this area, we, all we have to do is remove the ICR1. Since we're gonna have the, the pulse starting at the beginning, all we have to do is set it directly in the OCR1 registers. Let's see if this, we can do a make on this, and no errors, there's no errors. And let's go ahead and program it and see what happens. The microcontroller has been programmed, and it is um, controlling the servo as expected. Now you know how to control a servo using inverted and non-inverted modes. If you are following along with these experiments or producing successful projects on your own, helped by these tutorials, please let me know using the Contact Us page on the NewbieHack.com website. I would like to feature these on the website to benefit and motivate others to join this creative field. Thank you.